Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope everyone's enjoying this beautiful Saturday. It is so beautiful in my part of the world. The sun is shining. The weather is nice. I took the dogs out walking. So now we're back in the house, and I am here with you guys. So thank you guys for coming to my channel. Welcome if you are here for the first time. And for the ones that's been here before, thank you for coming back. So look, y'all, today I, scrolling through again, y'all know how I do by now, if you've seen a, a few of my videos already, but scrolling around um, on Media Takeout and saw this, um, uh, saw this about Kenya Moore, um, Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She had a facelift. Well, what they say, well, this is what it says. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore unveils new chin, possible botched facelift. So, did she have a facelift, or is just you know these sites doing what they do, doing what they do, and speculating and throwing stuff out there? So, did she really have a facelift, or is it just something that they're just throwing out here? So, let's see. Okay, so it says. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore looks much different. And it has fans wondering if the former beauty queen may have gotten a botched facelift. Kenya appeared on a big ticker, nationally syndicated radio show yesterday, and she talked about her new projects and the possibility of her returning to Bravo's top rated reality series. But we couldn't help but be distracted by her face, in, protect, in particular, her chin area. So I didn't even know that she wasn't on. I haven't watched Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, I, I can't even remem remember the last season that I saw it. I think it was the season when Nene walked off uh, the reunion or closed her laptop during the reunion or something like that. But I think that that was the last season that I watched. So... I can't even remember what year that was, but it's been a while, y'all. So the last time I did see it, uh, Kenya was still on there. So like I said, I had no idea until right now that she was no longer on the show. So anyway, getting back to this. So when I look at this picture right here, I, I don't, I mean, y'all, her skin, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I love Kenya. I, I'm not talking about, you know, I ain't trying to talk bad about Kenya per se, because like I said, I, I, I love Kenya, but it is what it is y'all. So didn't she have a skincare line or something? Um, let me see. I think she had a skincare line or something. Um, looks like 2022. So I, Y'all, I don't know. Okay, let, let's get let's get back to where we were. So we get back. We 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 check up on that later. Let's talk about this chin thing. So does it look like she had work done? I have to get off of this picture, y'all, because her her face, a skincare like. Uh, 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 anywho, so okay, we already read this. So you know, did she did she have her chin done? And the reason why, y'all, I wanted to make a video about this in particular, not that I so much care if she had plastic surgery or not, but I made this video in particular uh, because of the video that I made a couple of days ago regarding the big issue about Meg Thee Stallion having a nose job. And in that video, I stated how I didn't understand how Nicki Minaj was making it such a big deal about Megan Thee Stallion having a nose job when pretty much everybody in this industry are, are having things altered. You know what I'm saying? Facelifts, nose job, lip injections, BBLs. You know what I'm saying? So this is the point that I was trying to make with that video with you know, the video about Megan Thee Stallion's nose job. Like, why was it such a big deal? Because everybody in that industry are having things done regardless if they need to have it done or not. I done seen some women get BBLs when 
the, the bodies, their natural bodies were perfectly fine. So I didn't understand the reason for a BBL. And that's the same, the, the same, you know, how I'm feeling about Kenya Moore and her face if she had plastic surgery done because Kenya has always been beautiful. She has always been beautiful. I can't remember. It was one if the Miss was it Miss America or Miss USA or something. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Kenya, if you ever come across this video. I know it's is one or the other, and um, you know, that's not the point right now. The point is she's always been very beautiful. So to have anything done to her face anything i don't understand that's why i say it th this is this is something in the industry it's like some type of i don't know I, I i was about to say some type of illness but i can't think of the word that i'm looking for right now but it's some type of thing with people in the industry that makes them feel like they have to have something altered you know what I'm saying? Like they have to have something altered. Like, I y'all, what did Kenya need to? Why why did she need to do anything with her face? And like like I'm serious. What because this is not a good look. Uh, this is not a good look at all. I this is not a good look at all. If anything, she messed her looks up. Maybe she just got something done and. You know how you have to, I think after they get certain things done, it takes a minute for it to settle into place. So maybe this is what's going on with her in these pictures right here. Maybe she just did get something done or maybe she did just get her chin done and maybe it just didn't fall into place or settle into place. Or maybe when we see her a month from now, Maybe every by that time everything would have fell into place, but right now she just looking kind of crazy because I'm not feeling this. So this is her. Yeah, I I see. So I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this, Kenya. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so I when I read this earlier, a lot of what I already read was mentioned in this too. But let's just read this too. So it says Kenya Moore vi visits the Big Tigger Morning Show with Jazzy McBee in Audacity, Atlanta on February 1, 2024 in Atlanta. For contrast, this is what her chin used to look like, very regular. So they're saying that this picture right here, this is what her chin used to look like. And comparing it to y'all, this this is not a good look at all. I'm not I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this at all. Her hair looks very pretty, but I, her face, Kenya. What are you doing? Like what? Like I, I I'm not y'all. So. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but just like I said, the the real basis um, for me, well, I wanted to ask y'all what y'all thought about this chin of hers. Did she get her chin done? Because like I said, I haven't really seen her in a few years. Um, I don't think so. I don't recall seeing anything of her recent, in, you know, at least in a year. So... You know, what do y'all think? Did she have something done to her face? Did she have something done to her chin? I'm looking like, like when I look at this picture right here, like comparing this picture right here to this one, it looks like, because see how it's full right up in here? So it looks like she had something done i don't know i don't know y'all i don't know I, I i'm not trying to do too much you know analyzing it and trying to figure it out or whatever the case may be if she did she did but like i said right now it's not right now it's really not a good look like i said maybe it need it, it's gonna need some time and something gonna need to settle in 
or something. But even as far as skin, and like I said, she had a skincare line uh, back a few years ago. So, y'all, and with that being said, y'all, before I end this video, these celebrities, they, I mean, everybody has a skincare line. Well, I'm not gonna say everybody, but y'all know what I'm y'all know what I'm saying. You know, they have a skincare line. Uh, you have celebrities with hair care lines. Uh, trying to sell some type of exercise or fitness something, and it, all of well, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna take that back again. I was about to say all of them has had something done or altering something to make us believe that the products that they're trying to sell us are for real because let's be for real if kenya had a skincare line i wouldn't think her skin would be looking like this because is she using her own products because if she's using her own products uh if she still had a skincare line she's not gonna want anybody to see this because you know they didn't airbrush or or filter or do anything to this picture before they posted it so oh you know then you have celebrities that's uh getting body alterations but yet they want to sell some type of fitness something to make us believe that they work out to get their bodies this way when in reality you actually had work done or trying to sell hair care products when they wear wigs all the time. You see what I'm saying? So that's why, child, I can't think of, I haven't purchased any type of anything that a celebrity advertised or, or you know, some type of product or something that, that they've come up with or something like that. I just, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust it because just like I said, when they post these pictures and do all of that, a whole lot of times this stuff is already altered and filtered by the time we see it. So we would look at it and say, ooh, her skincare line. Ooh, look at her skin and I'ma go buy this. And ooh, look at her stomach and she did this and I'ma go buy this. Y'all. I hope y'all not one of those type of people. Like, I, I seriously, I, I, I seriously hope that y'all not one of those type of people because I don't know, just like I said, a skincare line and your skin look is, it, it, you know, I mean. But uh, like I said, what y'all think about this, this botched facelift and this new chin? Like, do y'all think that she had work done or maybe she had work done and didn't get her chin done because her chin is a little you know what i'm saying it kind of looked the same i guess a little i don't she had something done and I, I i just i don't know i can't figure it out because i was about to say maybe she didn't have her chin done but whatever it is that she did to her face right here like I said, in this picture, it looks full and filled in right here. But on this picture, it's it looks pulled back. So maybe whatever she had done right here is making her chin look longer or bigger or whatever. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, th these people, you know, to make such a big issue from one celebrity to the next celebrity to make such a big issue about any type of alterations they had done on their face and body is just ludicrous. So like I said, that's the point that I wanted to make with the Megan Thee Stallion um, nose job video. So like I said, as you can see, here we go again with another celebrity that then had some type of, you know, something. So it's not even real, it's, it's not even a big deal. It's not even really a big deal. But since I had to bring it up and pull this up, what do y'all think about this? Like, what do y'all think about Kenya? Like, I really do like Kenya, but, you know, it is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. Because this is not a good look. I am not feeling this at all. I'm not feeling this at all. But, hey, if she's happy with it, then go ahead, girl.
But y'all, this enough of this. I'm about to get out of here. Thank y'all for watching my video, and I am out.